Hi everyone, this is Erica of the storytellingjuggler.com and today is the first session of my uh, live uh, Beat Togethers. This is something what I really wanted to do for quite some time, but I was always postponing it. I was, uh, I was taking it easy, whatever. But I think now with the with the coronavirus crisis this is the perfect timing to start finally as uh, i was looking into into possible solutions how could i help in my little tiny way and uh, i would really like to help at least to ease the isolation so we can be together even if we can't physically be in the same room so welcome everyone i am really looking forward to this thank you very much for joining me today so since this is my first live beat, along, uh, beat together then uh, this is also a bit of a testing session so please forgive me if anything will go wrong i will do my best to make this as enjoyable as possible and afterwards i would be really happy to hear for feedback from you so i already see beaders joining actually beaders from the swedish gang i was uh, last september uh, teaching at the swedish beat along in stockholm and it was really i think it was the best event where i have been during my life as a beater and yeah, coffee, coffee is coming. Thank you very much. <laughs> so welcome to coffee time with Erica. My coffee has arrived. So we can start, I think. So what are we going to make today? Uh, yesterday in my Facebook group, the Storytelling Beading Club, I asked the question that what kind of beads do you have at home? Since I wanted to use beads in this design, which you already have at home, you don't have to wait for delivery, whatever. So as many beaders can be together today as possible. Most of you told me that you have at home round pearls, fire polished beads, gem duo and seed beads, of course. So this is the design I came up with yesterday during the night. I hope you like it. And I'm really, really, really looking forward to beat it together with you today. So, first of all, I will tell you, I will repeat every, I already posted that what do you, what do you need for this bracelet, but I will repeat the list and I will also show you my second colorway. In the meanwhile, please say hello and please tell me that where are you beating uh, at the moment? Where are you located? Hello, Sherstin. Hello, Marina. Yeah, ladies from Stockholm. Christina, Katalin. Andrea is from the Netherlands, I know. Aniko is from Hungary. Shaila is beading from Switzerland. Honey also from the Netherlands. Hello, Petra. Hello, everyone. So, the material is to make sure that you have everything and also that I have everything because <laughs> I was in a little bit of a rush just before I started. Of course, this was the time when I just pushed the going live button and then it was like something went wrong. Like I have done like five to 10 uh, live broadcasts recently and it has never happened before, but today, of course. But uh, most, uh, but what's important, we are all here today, uh, here already. So let's start. So while I will, uh, I will. Uh, okay, let me let me look for another. Yes, this is better. So until I will repeat the materialist, then what you can do, because 
actually i really wanted to make like a bit together so i don't want to be the only one participating actively so i will also ask you questions and you can if you have your phone nearby or tablet nearby then snap a picture and show your progress in a in a comment and i will actually invite you you can if you if you want if somebody wants at the end then you can even join me online and show the result and tell tell uh, everyone that how did you like this this beat together so first challenge while we repeat the material list please snap a picture of your colors what you have chosen for the bracelet today and show us in a comment i would really really love to see that what uh, what kind of colors have you chosen for the bracelet so you will need today three millimeter round beads round purse for my second colorway i am using this saturated metallic salon beads then you will also need six millimeter round beads purse i am using powdery lavender this is something what we have just added today to the e-shop by the way and then you will also need six millimeter fire polished beads this is the halo heavens I will also snap a picture and show it to you, by the way. And please do the same. Then I, uh, we also need gem duo beads. I have an awesome color. Like when I saw this, I was, oh, I just fall in love. It's called Matte Lipstick Red. Usually I don't wear makeup. I don't wear makeup at all. But this is something what I really, really love and if this was available as a as a lipstick i might i might even even use uh, start using makeup and then we will need number 15 and number 11 miyuki round beads i'm not going to show you this because uh, i have just a little bit on my bead mat but i will snap a picture and please do the same you will also need a clasp for your bracelet and you will need a thin beading needle. Usually I use a number 10 or number 12 beading needle. Both would uh, work well for this design. And then you also need fire line, of course, and uh, Basically, most of my designs, they are made with uh, number 12 fire line, 0 0.12 millimeters or 4 LB. I will show you. Yeah. And most of the time I, uh, I use, uh, I use smoke gray fire line. Fireline, of course. Okay, I will try to post my picture. Just a moment. Yeah, I'm I'm broadcasting from my notebook, but I took the picture for from my uh, from uh, with my phone. So it's actually not that easy, but I will make it work. And I am still looking forward to see your color combinations. Just a moment. Okay, it seems that unfortunately I can't uh, put it in a comment, but I have another solution. Ladies, I hope you are still here with me because I haven't seen any comments for some time. So 
please uh, please comment if you hear me and you if you can see me uh, so here it is what you can see on my beading board the three millimeter purse six millimeter purse six millimeter fire polished the gem duo number 15 number 11 uh, Miyuki seed beads, round seed beads. You don't use delicas for this design, but round seed beads, needle, clasp, and adjustable chain. Uh, I will use about a little bit more than an R uh, wingspan of fire line. and thread my needle. And what I couldn't figure out was to actually show you my beading mat, but I have a solution for you. So what I am going to do, I will show you the steps in the uh, in the uh, on the screen so hopefully you can follow it with me and and uh, and uh, I will also explain it in the meanwhile mm, in the meanwhile uh, Sherstine oh I see you have a problem that you you can't post a, post a picture. Sorry, guys, I didn't expect that. I thought that it will work just as any post on uh, on Facebook. Let me take a look at it. Just a moment, please bear with me. Okay, so it seems that unfortunately it's not possible to to reply on this uh, video picture, but you can send it to me afterwards or post it in the Facebook group and I will show it to everyone. Please keep taking pictures. And at the end, I will, I will invite you if someone wants to come on screen with me, then you can, uh, you can show your progress to everyone and you can, you can tell, tell us that how did you like it. So if you have your thread and needle, then first you will start to work with the gem duo beads and the three millimeter round purse. When you are working with the gem duo beads, then please be careful that uh, one side is, uh, has a little bump and one side is flat. So always turn the bump towards the, the top, of course. I also recommend to check both holes of the of the two whole beads before you pick them up because i have experienced some nasty surprises in the past when uh, i already were uh, attached a gem dua bead but then later it came apparent that the other hole is clogged so first step finally finally so pick up four three millimeter round purse and four of the gem duo beads interchangeably. So round per gem duo, round per gem duo, and so on. And when you have it, then you will tie a knot with the tail and the working end of the thread to join all the beads into a square circle yeah to join them together as uh, as you see them on the 
on the picture. I like to leave about a 10, 12 uh, centimeter or like five inch long uh, tail. And then I uh, work it in. Then I am done with everything. I will, I will uh, secure it by weaving it in. And then I will trim all the thread ends. So when you tied the knot, then please sew one more time through the three millimeter bead and through both holes of the gem duo. When this is done, then what we will do is we pick up a number 15 Miyuki round bead, a number 11 Miyuki round bead. We pick up a six millimeter pearl. Then again, a number 11 and a number 15. And as you see in the illustration, now you need to sew through the open hole of the bottom right gem dual bead. And after that, turn upwards through the first hole of the gem duo, the three millimeter round, bead, round pearl, and sew through both holes of the gem duo at the top right. And then again, downwards through the two seed beads you picked up and through the six millimeter pearl and also the number 11 seed bead ah mariella posted a link actually I will, oh, unfortunately, I can't click on it. So we have the second step. And now it comes to the third step. We pick up a number 15 bead, then a gem duo. We turn upwards through the gem duo. Then we pick up a three millimeter pearl and another gem duo. Again, please be very careful how you pick up the gem duos. So the bumpy sides are always facing the top of the bracelet. You sew down through the open hole of the gem duo. You pick up a number 15 bead, and then you sew through the number 11, the six millimeter per the number 11. And through the newly picked up number 15 and the first hole of the gem duo bead. This is how it looks like at the moment. And I'm sorry, the beginning was a little bit chaotic as, uh, well, flatmates and poodle had a lot of important things to do in the kitchen. <laughs> But now I am alone, so it should be calmer. And what I forgot to say at the beginning, the whole bracelet, it consists of little squares and the squares are connected by pearls, six millimeter pearls. And then both on top and the bottom, we have fire polished beads. So this is what we aim for. And when you finished, 
step number three. Then we will make the second little square made up of gem duos and Num and three millimeter pearls. So you turn upwards through the uh, other hole of the gem duo. You continue through the pearl and the and the uh, other gem duo, and then you pick up three millimeter pearl, a gem duo, a three millimeter pearl, another gem duo, and another three millimeter pearl to complete the little motif. And you connect these new beads into the uh, gem duo where you started. So now two little squares are finished and we have a pearl in between. Next step. In, the name, in, this, uh, in this step, we don't actually add uh, new beads, but uh, we just get in position. So it means that I will bead upwards through the three millimeter pearl, and then through the gem duo per gem duo per and both holes of the gem duo which is at the moment at the bottom right on the bottom right side as you finish you should finish in the bottom right gem duo and your thread should exit the second hole and face upwards Okay, a sip a bit of coffee. Are you also drinking some coffee still in that? Well, in Europe, it's uh, nearly six hours, half past five, actually. But in the States, in New York, it's uh, 11 a.m. And in uh, California, it's only 8 a.m. So you might be drinking your, your morning coffee, I guess. So tell me in a comment in the meanwhile if you are drinking a tea or a coffee. In the meanwhile, Nicoline and Rita joined us also. I am really happy to see you here, ladies. And now to step number six. We are already kind of repeating the same what we have done, but uh, from the opposite direction. So now we start from the bottom and we pick up a number 15, number 11, a six millimeter pearl, a number 11 and a number 15. We need to sew through both holes of the gem duo, which is at the top. We turn downwards when we, when we sew through its second hole. And then we will also continue through the three millimeter bead between the two gem duos, the gem duo at the bottom, and also the other hole of the gem duo at the bottom. And we will continue through the number 15, the number 11, the six, six millimeter bead, and the number 11, what we just picked up. Already uh, step six, isn't it amazing? Step seven. And now we pick up number 15, gem duo. other hole of the, we sew through the other hole of the gem duo. We pick up a, num, a three millimeter bead. And then gem duo. Both holes of the gem duo.
<laughs> we pick up a number 15. And then we sew through 11, six millimeter purl 11, number 15, and jump to a This is how it looks like at the moment. For the next step, we get in position by sewing down to the through the uh, three millimeter pearl and the gem duo. And then we pick up pearl, gem duo, pearl, gem duo, pearl to complete the motif. We need to connect the new beads into the gem duo on the top right. And again, we have to get in position to continue. So we sew down through the per gem duo, per gem duo, per, and both holes of the gem duo at the top right. And please tell me in a comment if you can follow it this way, if this works for you, if it's in a good pace, if you can follow the uh, uh, illustrations. This is the first time, so this is kind of a prototype for a future series of live beadalongs, and I want to make it as easy to follow as possible. Okay, let's get back because that was already the illustration for the next step. But this is basically what you should what you should repeat that uh, when you are uh, after you have uh, completed a little motive from the uh, gem duos and pearls, then you will always uh, Add you, uh, you complete this motif of purse and gem duos, then between the gem duos, you add the number 15, 11, per 11, number 15, and uh, in a semi in a kind of a circle, you return until you are exiting the number 11 bead. So you can then mirror the motif on the other side and you can start adding gem duos and pearls again. I will put on screen a couple of these pictures at the same time. So then we can see that what should happen and we can just repeat and repeat. Okay. So I hope this works for you. And for a bracelet of like kind of a small size, I uh, completed nine motifs of the gem duos, uh, gem duo motif with the purse. And I added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six millimeter purse 
in between. You, of course, can adjust the size of the bracelet as you need and add more or less motifs. I recommend to start and finish with a gem dual motif, not with a pearl, but if that's how the bracelet fits you better, then of course it's also doable. It's really an interesting situation now with the kind of a curfew. We are not, uh, I, I live at the moment in the Netherlands and we are not, we don't have to stay at home, but we of course are, high, are advised to stay at home. And many people, in many people's lives, it's a pretty big change. Uh, also, Adam, my husband, who made me the coffee at the beginning, for him it's a very big change to work from home. But for me, my everyday life, it's, it was actually a nice upgrade as uh, I normally work from home uh, every day unless I am traveling to teach somewhere. But, uh, and sometimes I have to confess that it gets lonely, but now I always have, <laughs> have company in the flat. And even if everyone is uh, really focused on their work, we are kind of, all of us, all three of us who live together, we are kind of workaholics, except Edward the Poodle. Uh, but, but it's nice to have at least meals together. So I really hope that all of you are taking good care of yourselves and your loved ones and you are staying at home. Recently, I have seen that there are still some beading groups organized and I was really surprised to see that. And please, 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 even if it's less fun and very unusual but please stay in your homes and and beat together online for example with me hopefully every friday from now on so i hope you are doing well i completed in the meanwhile three motifs with gem duos and pearls. Three, four, four motifs with gem duos and pearls. And I'm picking up my fourth six millimeter pearl already. How many motifs did you come, have you completed already? Tell me in a comment if you, if you happen to stop beating for a little bit. <laughs> I'm afraid that actually something is going on with the chat because no one is answering and I see that there are beaters online but but yeah I don't get comments so there might be something going wrong I will complete one more motif and then I will show you actually that how to attach the clasp. I will have like a... Oh, 
oh well it's going quick so i might even complete the whole whole bracelet pretty quickly I love working with this new with these new pearls by the way. I really wasn't interested at pearls until up until recently. But uh, since February I have this monthly challenge that every month I focus on a different source of inspiration and a different kind of material. And in February, every one of my designs, they contained glass pearls. Uh, together with my sister, Yvette, who is my helper at the storytellingjeweler.com, she joined me full time since March. We wrote several articles about pearls and about jewelry with pearls. And I really love uh, real pearls too, but uh, on one hand, they tend to be pricey. And on the other hand, as I love to write tutorials, I need material which is really absolutely consistent in size. That's why I use, that's why I use uh, glass pearls, imitation pearls. And some of my older tutorials, they also contain glass pearls, but I wasn't really hooked just since February. And I ordered some very nice colors and now I can't stop. After, uh, after a big order in February, uh, well, a lot of it was gone, but and I wanted to just uh, restock what's gone, but I couldn't actually restrict myself, and I ended up with a lot of new colors. Yvette is now adding them to the eShop if you want to check them out later. My favorite, favorite ones are actually this it's called powdery effect the six millimeter ones they are kind of like matted By the way, this bracelet, you might know that I'm kind of a megalomaniac regarding jewelry. So when I, when I make something, then when I design something, then sometimes it's really hard for me to stop. But well, for now, for this one, I wanted to keep it reasonable so it's doable in about an hour so we can do it really together but i was thinking that actually you can be the two strands two two strands of the same and then connect the two strands into each other through a fire polished bead so you would have then a nice wide bracelet
Okay, I see Janet commenting. Okay, it seems to be working <laughs> still. <laughs> I'm really happy to have you here, guys, and I'm glad that we can be together at least online for now. One of my favorite things uh, as a beadwork designer is, uh, is traveling and meeting, meeting other beaders. So I was really sad to see some of the shows canceled. I hope that that the authorities and researchers can solve our situation soon and then we can continue meeting in real life too. Sylvia is here. Oh, and she says that she sees a black monitor. Um, I will check quickly, but can someone con comment, please, that if you still see me and if you can still see what uh, see the illustrations on the on the screen, if it's like a common problem or. Or just something on Sylvia's side. Let me check. No, I went on Facebook and I see myself. Okay. And on Facebook I see the comments, but not on my not in my program. So I will open. Facebook too. Hopefully it will be all right. I'm sorry if I missed some of your questions in the meanwhile because I don't see in the program the, the comments somehow. Okay, Ludka is here and Cora and Shyla. Ladies, I'm so happy. Yes, Sherstin, uh, Sherstin sees the illustrations too. Great. Great. Okay. Ah, oh, Zuzi is here, my dear Zuzi is here. <laughs> and she says that uh, her three year old son, Matush, said, Look, Erika is bidding. Of course, Erika is beading. <laughs> Erika is beading a lot. <laughs> so, now that I finally see the comments, tell me, how are you doing? How many motifs do you have already? And if you have any, any questions, then of course, then of course, just let me know and I will do my best to answer everything. Or if you need more information on the on the screen, whatever. Okay, Kata is at number five. That's nice. I guess you will have like, you will need like a similar, similar sized bracelet as I do. So you are, you are at half already or like more than half. Thank you. 
Aileen is asking, do I hear the dog eating? Yes. <laughs> Actually, yes, and I have to. I, 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 I will tell you a little funny thing about Edward. You would never guess that what is his favorite favorite thing to eat. I could never imagine that a dog actually can eat it. It's. <laughs> Edward is here, flying Edward. So Edward's favorite meal is sauerkraut, right, Edward? <laughs> My little furry friend. <laughs> yes, apparently there is no problem with the with the sound just some of you have prob had problems with the connection so i see that kata had to figure out steps number two and three i'm really sorry about about the about the connection connectivity problems as i said it's for now it's a test ride and then hopefully it will get better and better every time as we do this if you have pets at home or uh, or you had pets then you can also tell me if uh, if your pets have or had like a, a surprising thing what they what they what they eat i used to have a dog uh, well two dogs but one of my dogs gypsy uh he used to love apples when we had a house in hungary then he would run around in the garden and when he found apples then he would like uh hold them in between his paws and then like really like taking bites out of the apple i have never uh, seen a dog who would eat fruits but now after edward i think I will not be surprised about anything. <laughs> oh, Lutka is saying that uh, today she was visiting her daughter and uh, her daughter has a french bulldog called iggy and she was playing with iggy that must have been really a delight <laughs> lutka i am very happy that you are also here and molly hi molly <laughs> What Katarina says that she has a bunny and the bunny doesn't like carrots. How can that be? <laughs> what does she like then, Katarina? Tell us. <laughs> Oh, she like I uh, love rusks. Okay, I have to actually Google it. That what does that mean? I'm sorry, English is actually my third language. Oh wow, it's the kind of like dry cookie. Wow. <laughs> So now I am beginning the ninth motif. Zuzi says, Erica, does little kids count too? We don't have a pet, <laughs> mother of the year. 
<laughs> Anna, almost one and a half year, uh, likes raw cauliflower and leek. Haven't seen this before with any kid I know. Me neither, Zuzi. Me neither, Zuzi. <laughs> but in my eyes, you are mother of the year. <laughs> you are beating so much while raising two kids. I'm really amazed. <laughs> Sandy, Sandy Kaiser Fortune is here. And Rita says, Rita lives, uh, lives in Belgium. She says, our black cat boy loves black coffee. What? <laughs> Connie's dog loves herring. Connie, like, you're Dutch. Your dog is Dutch. I have to say, I'm not, I'm not surprised. <laughs> but, well, I confess that even if I'm here in the Netherlands for nearly five years now, herring is something what... Okay, I'm also a vegetarian, so I don't eat, I don't eat fish. But sometimes with other stuff, I have a feeling like, Oh, I can imagine that this serrano ham must be very yummy. But herring? I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm really curious, actually, about Rita's uh, coffee-eating uh, cat. That Does she drink your coffee? She sips your coffee? Or does she eat the coffee bowl? How does it work? Oh, and we have another coffee lover there. Molly says that uh, her daughter would steal her coffee. That's so evil. Mommy, mommy needs her coffee. Don't let her do that. <laughs> yeah, Honey says uh, herring is so healthy. I know there is actually a saying here in the Netherlands that uh, if you eat a herring, every day then that will keep the doctors away but still i'm afraid that's not something what will <laughs> what will happen and rita's coffee drinking cat he puts his leg into a into the bowl <laughs> It's great to see that I'm not the only one who is that addicted to coffee. Hopefully it's 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 normal. <laughs> oh, by the way, my uh, apple eating dog he also he was also eating uh, tomatoes when he could find some in the in the garden so that must but must have been something about the red vegetables and fruits because he was eating the red apples and the red tomatoes Sherstin is asking oh Catalin coffee is my fuel absolutely I really hope that you can visit me and then I will take you to my favorite coffee place just around the corner. <laughs> Sherstin is asking, not sure if I should stop. Is the clasp next? Yes. Actually, I have finished the complete length, what I wanted to do, nine motifs of the gem duos. So now we are going to attach the clasp. I will remove these steps from the screen. I hope that even those who are not as fast beaders as Sherstin and Kata, for example, that they can now repeat the steps until we can put this back. So to attach the clasp, it depends on the type of clasp you are using, of course, but I attached a simple lobster clasp on one side and uh, an extension chain on the other side. And how I did this was that I was exiting, I am exiting a jam duo bead on the top right side and the thread is hanging downwards. And then 
I picked up, I pick up number 15, 11, number 15, then the lobster clasp, and again number 15, 11, and number 15. And if you have a different uh, kind of clasp, then, of, uh, then it might happen that you need to adjust the number and the sizes of the beads, but it's pretty easy to do. You just need to experiment a bit, add one more number 15, or if you have a, have a thicker clasp, then like maybe not add number 15 on both sides. It's, it's, uh, it's something you need to figure out if you have a different size. And after the clasp, we are going to add the big fire polished beads on the bottom of the bracelet along the edge. Mm -hmm. Looking for the illustration. Yes. So uh, after adding the clasp and the seed beads, you will need to pass through the bottom hole of the gem duo on the bottom right, uh, right side of the bracelet. And then you pick up a number 15 bead, a number 11 bead, a six millimeter fire polished, I forgot to, uh, forgot to, uh, oh no, I have it here, sorry. Yes, a number six, uh, six millimeter fire polished. Then again, 11 and 15. So this is the sequence, what you are going to add always at the bottom of the, uh, of the uh, gem duo motifs. It's number 15, number 11, six millimeter fire polished, number 11, number 15 again. After you picked this up, then you need to pass through the gem duo bead at the bottom of the motif, the other one on the left-hand side of the motif, and also through the number, uh, number 15 the first one. Then you pick up another number 15 and you continue through number 15 and gem duo. And in between the two gem duos, you add number 15, 11, six millimeter, 11, and number 15. And then you go through the gem duo and through the number 15. <laughs> and Rita says, I eat meat so my wrist is bigger. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> oh. So, and this is how you need to add beads on the on the bottom always the combination of five between the gem duos and the number uh, 15 between the two number 15s below the six millimeter pearl and Zuzi says oh thanks it is not easy but i need my happy place there is some kind of peace without tidying up the mess so on my therapy i completely understand you even without Without having kids, I really feel like beating is something what I really need in my life. Especially when uh, I can then pass on the pleasure of creating to, to you. That's, what's, that's, what, that's what is keeping me going. <laughs> so I will check back on Facebook if there are more comments because maybe my program is not working properly we have mona uh, mona joining us hello mona welcome <laughs> so just someone please
tell me in a comment if this part is clear. It's adding the fire, the big fire polished beads at the bottom. Shirstin, how are you doing with it? There is a little delay actually. So you will hear, hear me saying this later. Rita is working on the elements. Kata says it's super clear. Honey says it's clear. Okay, great, great. I'm glad that it is working out. By the way, don't ever worry if you need like a bigger bracelet so it takes longer time to make the element or if you be the be a bit uh, slower uh, because this video of course it's the biggest fun to to be here we here in real time live and and uh, i will try to do this every week or uh, every second week Let's see how can I keep uh, up with it. But for you who are here with me, I actually have a little, a little present because I really appreciate you taking the time. So after the after the live broadcast, you will be able to download the printable file as a gift from me for for like well for free of charge. Later, it will go up to the eShop for about like five euros, I think. But but you will you will be able to access it for free after the broadcast. Oh, Nicolin says like maybe during Corona you can broadcast every day. Well, I would love to do that, but uh, I'm not sure I can come up with the design every day and make all the necessary illustrations and other stuff. But if you ladies are open to something else too, like you know, uh, you know my uh, Tuesdays coffee time, when I am like kind of um, like uh, talking through, uh, talking about technical stuff or new creative material we have, or I uh, or I show you the new designs what I made then I, there are so many possibilities. And actually, it's funny because at the beginning, I was really stressed out about going live with the broadcast. But now I, it's, it's, I think, my favorite thing to do, especially without the workshops. So if you have ideas, what would you like to talk about? What do you want to do together? Then I'm absolutely, absolutely open to any ideas. Like I can uh, show you how do I store my beads. I can, uh, I can uh, show you how do I take photos whatever this is the perfect opportunity to tell me that what do you want to hear about what do you want to talk about and as we go on then i will uh, i will figure out all the technical obstacles and hopefully it will get better and better <laughs> Okay, Anna from Hungary, she says, Anna Lindmeier, that, uh, that it's clear. Oh, great. Okay, okay. I'm very happy that this works for you. <laughs> Thank you so much, lovelies. I'm I'm reading the comments in the meanwhile, and <laughs> I feel flattered, and I'm so happy that you are here.
bird of wave and you are bidding from a video do you prefer do you like this style that i show the illustrations or should i keep pushing and somehow figure out how to attach uh, attach uh, my camera overhead and how to show you how am i actually working or the illust or you uh, or you prefer the illustrations? That's another question. What I would love to know. Nicolina is asking, yes, I am interested in how you store your beads. Uh, honey, I would like to learn making good photos. I will keep this on my, my mind, ladies. I am really happy that you, you are telling me what you want to learn more about. Honey, for you, I actually have started a st series on my blog the storytellingjeweler.com slash blog about taking pictures of jewelry i wanted to write a series of articles so far i have two so you can maybe look back to those for uh, for the beginning and then uh, i will also also make a video about my whole process and nicoline the storing of the beads that's definitely a good question and i will i will show you that how do i do it and about the illustrations and the and my uh, or uh, or seeing my hand as i work you basically you all say that illustrations are better Okay, Nicolin says, in fact, I like everything. I also like to see your hands, but this with illustrations is also very nice. Maria would like to see my hands. Okay, so there are bidders who like to see hands. There are bidders who like to see illustrations. okay if the illustrations work for you then for now if it's okay with you i would uh, i would stick with illustrations because that's uh, something i can do a lot quicker than than the video well for now until i didn't set it up but I will also look for solutions for an overhead camera. I searched for uh, for different kinds of tripods, but I couldn't find something what would what would work for me. Rita says, "I love my work already. Thanks. I'm so happy about it." And Shershtin, she actually did a bead along, a bead together last week and offering to, to show me her technical solution. Shershtin, I would be really, really grateful uh, if you showed me how, how, did you, how did you do it. I think it's, it's a great opportunity to learn from each other. So I reached the other end of my bracelet. This is how it looks like at the moment. And now I am going to add the extension chain. So I will pick up after exiting the last gem duo. I pick up one number 15, a number 11, and then three, four, five number 15s. One, two, three, four, five. I pick up the extension chain and then I pick up three more of the number 15s. Of course, you can pick up the extension chain after this number, this three, two, it doesn't matter. What's important that you will now create a little loop by sewing one more time through the third number 15, what you picked up.
and I really recommend adjust it in a adjust the loop so the extension chain is at the right place or like adjust the number of beads and the size of the beads if you use a different kind of ending and I really recommend to reinforce the loop that basically just retrace the thread path and go again through all the beads which are holding the extension chain. You can do this one or two time, times, for example. And then when it's done, then you pick up two more number 15s, a number 11, and one more number 15. And then you go to the gem duo. And it seems like, I hope that I will have enough thread. Oh, yes. OK, it should be OK, hopefully. So when this part is done, then you will finish the upper edge of the bracelet. And you will do the same as on the bottom, that between the two gem duos in the motif, you add a group of five beads. The five beads are number 15, 11, 6 millimeter fire polished, 11, and number 15. Then you go to the gem duo and the number 15, which are already attached, and you pick up a number 15. So you will just mirror the same. <laughs> and now I am back on Facebook so I can actually see your comments again. By the way, after the live broadcast, I will reread all the comments and uh, search for any questions. I will mark down all feedback and all questions and all ideas, because maybe I missed something in the meanwhile, as I am sometimes also looking at my beadwork. <laughs> also, you can tell me, like, what would you like to bead with me next time? Nicolin says, how to bezel a novet? That would be nice. Uh, maybe you know, I have an ebook. It's called How to. Oh, it's called. I have it here, actually. Just a moment. So, The ebook is called How to Make Your Work Last by Covering the Back of All Your Peyote Bezels. But it's not, okay, it's mirroring a bit, but now maybe you see it better. Yeah. So it's not only about covering the back of the peyote bezels, but the peyote bezels themselves are also included in it. So the navets. There are about 20 shapes in the ebook at the moment. And once a year, I make an update when everyone who already has the ebook, then they will get it, uh, get it for free, the new shapes. So I plan to do an update in May or June this year. And about Navets, uh, 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 it says that the nine, uh, the nine times, uh, 18 millimeter one is already included. And also the big one, the 32 times 70 millimeter navet is already included in the in the ebook. Eva asks, hello Eva, so nice to see you. I'm a little bit late. Can I do it later? Of course you can. You can always uh, rewatch the broadcast. And if you stick around for a little bit, then I will also tell you that how can you download the tutorial for free. It will be available for uh, during the weekend and then it will go away and it will be available only in the eShop. I mean the printed version. The broadcast, it will stay online. Nicolin asks, the 10 times 5 is maybe too small for bezeling. 
I'm afraid that it is. There is also the seven times 15 that's doable, but the 10 times five, I think it's a bit too small. But if anyone has a tutorial for that, then please feel free to put here the link. The five millimeter is very, very narrow. I'm afraid that if it would have been done with bezeled with peyote, then uh, it would cover basically the whole, the whole cabochon. Okay, I'm really happy with the colors what I put together, by the way. I hope you are also happy with your creations. Okay, more light. Yeah. Okay. Molly says that she has a copy of the book and she loves it. I'm so happy. <laughs> so stay tuned because in May or June I will add the new shapes. I already have like two done, or two or three done, I think. But I want to add at least five at the same time. So I need a little bit more time. Kata and Mona also like what, the, what they are doing. So I'm very happy to hear that. Nicolene, if you want, then I can put here the, the link for the book for you. Just a moment. Yes. I have just read what Susie brought that love your earrings didn't spot them before. Thank you, thank you. They are made with cabochons and then it's bead embroidery with a cubic zirconia drop, some fire polished beads and a metal frame. It is not something what, uh, what I can repeat, but uh, because of the components, the unique components. But if you are in search of uh, cabochons, then I always recommend the cabochons. My friend Lenka makes the L2 Studio cabochons. Manuela, the book is my Bible. Oh, <laughs> you don't know how happy you made me. I'm so, I'm so glad that it's helpful, helpful to you. So stay tuned. In May or June, I will also talk about it again on the broadcasts. And uh, of course, I will post about it and send a newsletter. But uh, make sure that you find the download link because I will send it to everyone who already has it. So then you can have all the sizes. There are so many sizes of cabochons, so many different shapes. And I can't keep up with the pace how Swarovski and all the others, they are coming up with, with new shapes. So it takes some time. So I'm nearly at the end. Three more fire polished beads to add and then securing the thread, which I really don't like to do, but well, we have to do that. Marina tells that she's working on the torn set. I'm really, I will really be curious to see the result. 
as I haven't seen a lot of those finished, I would love it. Love uh, if you if you could uh, show a picture afterwards. And if you have any questions, if you need any help with it, then I hope you know where to find me. By the way, ladies, when you have questions about designs or like uh, not only my tutorials, but beading in general, then the then my private Facebook group, the Storytelling Beading Club, is the place to ask your questions. Just always feel free to drop the question there. And I will do my best to answer. And also, I can say that the community is really helpful. So even when I am uh, not around, then I know that I can rely on the other members and and they will help. And I am very grateful for that. Andrea finished the bracelet. Wow. Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> You're a very fast beater. And I started to talk a lot lately, so I'm not doing that great progress. <laughs> but Andrea, great. Uh, ladies, at the end, when I finish the bidding, then I will actually post a link here. And then if someone wants to show their bracelet, then hopefully this, this functionality of the program will work. Then you can, you can uh, show the bracelet to the other beaders here and tell Tell us that how did you like the live beating? I would be really curious to see some of the colors. What you put together. It's like seeing a design like come alive, beaded by other beaders in different colors. That's like my favorite thing. It's Okay, there are a lot of favorite, a lot of my favorite things to do, but <laughs> yeah, that's that's a very rewarding, rewarding thing. So I managed to manage to go all around. Now I am securing the threads, sipping some more coffee. <laughs> uh, you know what's great about like drinking coffee at half past six that very probably I will stay up late and I will work on some more designs <laughs> if you have ideas that what would you uh, what would you like to make next time then also just drop me a comment here, like if you want earrings or pendant or another bracelet, or we can also just bead motifs, and you can then uh, decide if you want if you want a bracelet or a pendant. I really like to work with motifs, which are versatile. Kathy Quintelier is here. She says I will make mine tomorrow. I had to cook and take a walk with my dog. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow. Make sure to show us your uh, your colors, and tell us what did you cook. That's also a very nice activity. I think I have to say that I'm not so good with household chores because it seems to me like, for example, when I have when I'm cleaning, that I'm always just getting back the house to zero to level zero, but. Uh, when I'm cooking, then I'm very happy with it because there you have a result and you can enjoy the result. So, Katie, what did you cook today? Nicolene, we did something with the filigree. That's great. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Erika, for the nice broadcast. Thank you very much for beating with me, Nicolene. By the way, like, 
I did not forget about uh, what we talked about, that it would be nice to start a bidding group in Amsterdam. I totally agree. And I talked to, uh, to Café Belcampo in, uh, in uh, the Holland. And I also talked to another place in January, but I don't feel like that's the best. Unfortunately, I think we have to postpone it a bit because of the regulations. But afterwards, let's get let's get let's get back to it. Ah, uh, uh, Nicole, you want to learn something with the filigree? Then March is your month. March is your month. If you look back on the blog, then you will find the tutorial for the Maharaja, the mirror of the Maharaja bracelet. It's actually, yeah, this one. That's a really simple idea. Or look for the broadcast, the coffee time with Erika, not from this week, but the previous week. And there I have uh, talked a lot about different possibilities, how you can work with filigree components. Katie, Katie is here, just popped in, forgot, forgot about this, was outside planting. <laughs> Great to see you here. And Hopefully your garden will turn out better than my balcony, than my little garden on the balcony. I gave up two years ago. I wanted to give it another go this year. Let's see how it will go. <laughs> and in the meanwhile, I finished my bracelet. This is how it looks like. And I'm very happy with the result. It's a little bit Christmassy with the green and the red. It always, I don't know what do you think, but when I put together green and uh, purple, green and the uh, red, then it always comes to me a bit as like Christmas. And I'm not a fan of, like not, a, uh, I don't mean like not a fan of Christmas, but like somehow then I feel limited with the color combination. But I hope that the purple pearls uh, eased it up a little bit. And I will now hide the last step. This is, by the way, like a miniature version of the bracelet. Of course, you make more, not just five motifs, but I wanted to keep the illustration reasonable. And if someone wants to join me, on the broadcast then and show how you did and tell us how you liked the live beading, then you can click this link and you will you will not go automatically on screen. I will see you po uh, popping up that you joined the broadcast. If we have a brave beader out there, then I can put you on screen and I can show it uh, and you can show how did you, what did you make. In the meanwhile, I want to tell you about the printable I promised. So there is already a written version of the tutorial of the, by the way, the bracelet, I named it Vanessa. It doesn't have any specific reason why I called it Vanessa. Somehow, I just liked the name. One moment. Yes, here it is. So I already have a written uh, version of the tutorial. And if you want to download it, then what you need to do is that you visit the page, the storytelling jeweler slash 
Vanessa. And there you will be able to, to download it. So it will stay online until uh, until Monday. So if you want to have a printable version, then make sure to uh, visit the storytellingjoveler.com slash Vanessa uh, by Monday to download the file because afterwards it will go away and it will be available only either you have to watch the broadcast or you have to uh, you have to get it through the eShop. You can also share this link with your friends. I would actually really be happy if you if you told your friends about about this possibility. And the live beading it was just one uh, one of the many activities what we are planning for you and uh, for this um, upcoming weeks because i really want to work hard on making this uh, this time when we are restricted in our homes uh, actually fun and uh, enjoyable so we also intensified with the the articles on the blog so I will remove this and if you want to read about beading then I recommend to visit the storytellingjeweler.com slash blog and you will find many different articles there. There are also some interviews with other beaders and designers or for example recently we wrote a lot of articles about purse since that was in focus that was the material uh, in focus and uh, we uh, wrote for example we put together an article about um, the tutorials from different artists and it seems that honey is ready to join the broadcast. Let me find it. Oh, no, I think she clicked the link uh, by accident and I don't see her anymore. And if you read all the articles, then you can also test yourself that how much did you learn about the purse? Mm -hmm. So that's what we are doing. At the moment, Marina also uh, finished the uh, finished the uh, the bracelet. Aniko is asking, "Do we need the coupon code for Vanessa?" It looks like it's not free at the moment on your website, Aniko. Uh, you see, probably the pro the product Vanessa. I also uploaded already the product, but please visit. I will put you the link here. There is a specific page for the download. The storytellingjeweler.com slash slash Vanessa. And there you can download it. You just need to add your uh, your first name, your email address, and then you will get the uh, get the tutorial. To your to your inbox you can download it in in one minute marina is done oh it's great ladies i am really really happy that you decided to join me today I hope that you liked it. I am really looking forward to see all your uh, all your creations. Please send me a picture or even better, post it in the Storytelling Beading Club. And then I can put together a, an album showing others that what have we done together. I think it would be really fun. Yes, Rita already put a, put a picture, I will find it. 
<laughs> Ladies, you are very, very welcome. I really enjoyed doing this. And let me know about your wishes. How should we continue? What kind of beads do you want to use? What kind of uh, designs do you want to beat together? And let's meet again next week and let's talk to each other in between also uh, through the group and i will also make some more more broadcasts if you liked this then please tag your friends please invite them to watch this broadcast too please share the link tell them to download the tutorial during the weekend so they can have it also for free and i am looking forward to see your creations please stay safe Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Please follow all the restrictions, what our governments told us to follow. It's really important. Please stay at home, be at home, and be together only online. Thank you very much. And I wish you all the best, ladies. Bye-bye.